if one of the main books that you live your life by says that it's okay to stone people to death, but that it's not okay to abolish slavery, then maybe it's time to throw that book away and get a new book. Now, this doesn't mean that books like the Bible don't have some really beautiful passages in them. I mean, Love Thy Neighbour is a truly, well, you know, lovely idea. You know, providing, of course, that your neighbour doesn't listen to overly blokey shock jock FM's greatest hits of the 70s and 80s, where we're taking it back, way back to before the internet, where you don't choose the music, we talk over the beginning and ending of every single song, and every minute and a half we'll play a stream of advertisements designed to suck the will to live out of you, yeah. At full blast, all weekend, every weekend, as he desperately bangs away at his botched DIY home extension that he's been unsuccessfully trying to finish for five years now amid an increasingly irritated and soon-to-be ex-wife and three kids that have almost grown up and are planning to move out, rendering the entire ill-conceived project completely redundant. Now, while... While obviously, you know, you wouldn't openly wish that he would die, though secretly you would wish that he would die, and this is completely reasonable under the circumstances, you know, loving him oh, might be a bit of a stretch. But also, while the Bible does say to love your neighbour, you know, it also instructs you on many, many more occasions to kill your neighbour. In fact, all of your neighbours in as brutal a way as possible. In fact, the more brutal, the better. And after that, take all of their stuff and any virgin girls that happen to be lying around having somehow escaped the holy carnage only to discover that an even worse fate awaits them. Now, I think we can all agree that this is not a good thing. Now, quite apart from the whole moral aspect of it, which, while the Bible may be conflicted about this, you know, any sane person, religious or not, with even a sliver of empathy knows that killing people is wrong. You know, if you start killing all of your neighbours, that will also lower the value of property in your area. You know, which is all well and good if you're renting and hoping to bring the cost of rent down. You know, but if you have bought your home, and you're planning on eventually selling that home for a profit, then I would suggest not doing the whole killing your neighbours things. Or at least only do it if you're, you know, not planning on selling your home for another 40 or 50 years. And even then make it a small killing, you know, not a massacre. You know, and certainly not a holy massacre where you are the only person left standing at the end of it. You know, because let's face it, nobody wants to live near the only person who mysteriously survived the neighbourhood massacre, yeah, much less by their house. So yes, when it comes to the Bible, I say, you know, keep the nice things, but poof, throw the rest of the book away. Which means that, contrary to what the Bible says, killing sodomites is wrong, whereas coveting your neighbour's ass, well, it's probably fine, as long as you do it surreptitiously and in a way that doesn't offend anyone. Because, I mean, come on, what fun is life without a little bit of ass coveting? God said go screw go get down and dirty while you're doing the do. God said go bang, go slam in every way you can. Yes, God said go screw make sure you call 